Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. It's Friday. Great to have you with us. Uh, so much going on. Uh, there's so much to tell you about today. Where do you even begin? Just, uh, it's a cornucopia, which is a good word for Thanksgiving, isn't it? It's a cornucopia of uh, not necessarily fun. Some of it is, but uh, most of it's just absolute madness because. It's a madhouse! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A madhouse! Uh, yesterday, the CBO, the CBO weighed in on Biden's uh, social spending plan, which, of course, doesn't cost a dime. Hmm? It costs zero. zero. This plan cost zero dollars. Zero. <laughs> CBO says, uh, yeah, it's going to add $367 billion to the deficit without counting the IRS tax enforcement. Oh, that's how they're going to make up for it. Mm. I give you my word as a Biden. And you know, when the CBO scores something, that's still, that's, that's, you're not even there. No. I mean, they're usually way conservative in their estimates. And didn't the White House, I mean, the White House has just said, well, we don't, we don't think that's right. Yeah, we don't, we don't think that's right. Of course, Zero. that's what they say. We don't think that's right. They don't know what they're talking about. By the way, we want to welcome welcome to the show, Ben Ben Franklin. Thank uh, you. It's nice to have you with us. Oh, it's good to be here. Tricornered hat and it's good to be here. The blouse. Wait, the blouse. Wearing, yeah, the, the the frilly vow, yeah. blouse that men used to wear. Precursor to the, the coat. <laughs> Precursor to the muma. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's just one, oh. of, my, one of my inventions. <clears throat> okay. Smile, Ben. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> So good. <laughs> it is very good. I'll be first. Oh this. man. The hair just really does add to it. It's the last day. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, oh. last day. Shaves so are you this shaving afternoon. it today? This afternoon. Okay. Live on my Instagram and Facebook pages. And what'd Jeff you radio? What'd you raise? Uh, I think we're at seven or eight thousand, something nice. like that. So I mean I want the cool. goal was six thousand for mm-hmm. one year, for one person one year. So we we surpassed our goal. It's great. Thank you. Good Thank job. Thank you to everyone. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, always the audience, so always so I know, generous. fantastic. And O U R is a great cause, so it's a, uh, know, it's a yeah. good thing. Yes. Uh, but back to the CBO, they estimate that enacting this legislation would result in a net increase in the deficit totaling three hundred six sixty seven billion over the twenty twenty two to twenty thirty one period, not counting any additional revenue that may be generated by additional funding for tax enforcement. The Biden administration has argued the cost of the bill's exp- expansive social and climate programs is fully covered sure. by offsets like oh. tax hikes on the wealthy and enhanced IRS tax enforcement. CBO score undermines that position. <laughs> what a surprise. What a staggering, stunning surprise. Who saw that coming? Uh, no one. <clears throat> no one. No Everybody one. thought, well, wait, they said this was going to cost zero. I I'm shocked that you're saying it's going to cost more than zero. Wow. I, I am curious. Back in your day when you were in Congress, Ben, um, how did you handle uh, large expenditures like this? Hmm? Um, we didn't do that. Oh, they, didn't, didn't? they didn't make no. large expenditures like oh. this. We didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you had a little yeah. common sense going back in the day. We tried. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we definitely tried. Look, it's a, you know, I've seen what you've done over the years yeah. to this great land. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your impression well, well, of uh, this Congress? Uh, a couple words come to mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not good. <laughs> not good. That's the okay. first two that jumped in my mm-hmm. mind. That's it, though. Just okay. You don't like good. you don't like the old Just Speaker of the House good. there, Nancy Pelosi? Uh, you know, maybe, you know, not for the job she's doing. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Was that Nancy? I guess it wow. was. <laughs> okay. I guess it was. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, Thomas Jefferson almost didn't buy... The Louisiana Purchase, because it was Mm -hmm. too expensive. Because it was so much money, and they didn't want to go into debt. They didn't want to spend that kind of money. Uh, But they, you know, good thing. They they broke down and (laughs) decided to do it. Because that was kind of a bargain, it turns out. Turns out to be a pretty big bargain. Uh, But now, look at them. And what was the Louisiana Purchase? Was it uh, $15 million? Was I think it was dollar an acre or something. Hey, it was nothing. I mean, it well, it literally yeah. cost us almost nothing. And you think about, I mean, fifteen million then was yeah. a lot mm-hmm. for today. It was fifteen million? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you think about that in the scope of like, if we had half the country, if we could double the size of the country, what would right. that cost us now? Oh my gosh! 
I mean, I, uh, I, you can't I, even, I don't know. You can't even fathom what the Louisiana Purchase or Alaska would would cost I mean, us today. Global wealth has, I mean, is up over what five hundred trillion now. Is it total global wealth is over five hundred trillion? Five hundred trillion. China. Because it, it's just yeah, not very year. long ago it was sixty trillion. Oh, the U.S. All the money in the world was sixty trillion. I remember that figure that because Glenn kept throwing it out when we were right. But I, I, I just I just read a thing where the glo- China you know went up <clears throat> like a, a third of the global wealth. I mean they're over the U.S. now. I don't believe that. What? I saw that I saw that headline yes. too, and I thought I'm not even reading that. That's not true. <laughs> so check this out. Check this out. Louisiana purchase, 15 million dollars in 1803 is worth right. uh, 367 million today. Still a bargain. That's still, still a bargain. bargain. Yeah. A dollar today. Now this is 2020. Yeah, that's when it, that's when 15 million was 15 million. Right. Yeah. Right. Now I got li- news for you. It's still listen to million. this. Yeah. A dollar today, mm-hmm. and this is 2020. So it's even worse today. Uh, buys four. <laughs> percent of what it could buy back then the, Ooh, the wow. dollar is only worth four percent so we we're four cents on now. the dollar so to what even, they were yeah so it's even worse now yeah really with the, bad. with with the biden inflation <sighs> roller coaster we're on really really bad again i go back to the two words that came to my mind first and foremost not good <laughs> not good it's really profound ben thank you it is thank you well another of your profound well, thoughts love your enemies yeah. uh, for they uh will tell you your faults just another line i had over the years yeah um, it's a it's a good one thank know you know your enemies for, for they will tell love. you your faults love love your, your enemies because oh, lo- they'll tell you your faults and then you can overcome them mm-hmm. i'll do it all right I've got a wife who is not an enemy, but she tells me plenty about my faults. <laughs> I don't need funny. I don't need enemies to do that. I, I have a wife who's really good at that. Funny, I really, have, really have good. the same thing. Really? Do yeah. You? yeah. Huh. yeah. Oh my That's gosh. Weird. That's Jeff weird. Fisher just quoted Ben Franklin perfectly. <laughs> good job, mm-hmm. Ben. Way to go, Ben. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I doubted you. <laughs> yeah. Also last night, <laughs> House Democrats postponed a much-anticipated vote on uh, Biden's social social safety net and climate package. Uh, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy <laughs> delayed the final vote, and I, you know, what does that do, really? So right. we get it today instead of right. yesterday. He talked for eight whole hours. He, he talked for eight record. hours. Talk for eight hours. I guess is the hope that that there's public pressure between now and then. So and we got an EBS my... thing going on. One of these TVs must be on. See... Really. Uh, all right, if this I was, was just, an actual emergency, you'd just, be instructed I where know. in your area to go for <laughs> news just, and official information. I was just hoping oh, it would no. stop and we would just keep moving. But uh, hopefully the building doesn't burn down around us. Uh, uh, but, but nah, yeah, so fine. so he spoke for eight hours and how long? I mean, he spoke through the night. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Um, and yeah, they're going to vote, though, within and not, the next oh, two hours. Oh, so the eight-hour talk means that they just delayed yeah, the vote, per- really. Precisely. It and was almost, was, it was like eight Eight and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, he talked from 8.38 to 5.04 in the morning. It was a record. Yeah. Congrats. He beat, yeah. he he beat, beat Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Beat your record. So that's great. Ugh. You know she's pissed about that. I know. You know she is. Hers was like four hours and something, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he demolished it. Mm. He criticized the bill as reckless and invade against President Biden's presidency overall. <clears throat> he also discussed unrelated matters like the southern border. Uh, I think that's related. Afghanistan policy, recruitment of police officers, poll numbers, and the problem with the one with one party rule. I mean, that's a long time to talk. Eight and a half hours. Right. That's not easy to do. So good for him. Didn't do much, but uh, good for him. <laughs> you know, good for him anyway. Yeah, good for him. Uh, one of the things they're saying uh, uh, was it was it Saki? No, it was. Um, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris yesterday, who was being asked about the southern border and her purview over the border and mm. how come you haven't done anything to fix it and it's getting worse. And her thing was, uh, we inherited. The- <laughs> I just, I, I can't take that. Because let's say that's true. Let's say the border was so bad uh, when you took over and it's just continually gotten worse since you took over. But you inherited a really bad problem. Right. The people are pouring across the border, and they have been for 20 years, for 30 years, 40 years. I don't know if it's... But you signed up for the job, right? You knew about this in advance. So stop with that excuse, because whether you inherited it or not, 
you knew it was a problem you had to deal with, right? and you're not dealing with it. So I don't want to hear the, I inherited such a bad problem, we can't do anything about it. No, that doesn't wash. Do something about it. Right. You're in charge now. Do something about it. This is no surprise to you. I, uh, this, what, the, what they get away with is really amazing. Mm. It's really amazing. Okay, are you in the job right now? Well, is this I your mean, job now? Technically. <laughs> Jeez. You know, you take over a, a company that's failing and they want you to turn it around. Well, I inherited a really bad financial situation uh-huh. here. We were on the verge of bankruptcy. Okay, well, you, you just became the CEO. Fix it. Fix it. I don't want to hear your excuses. I want you to fix it. That's why we gave you the job. Yeah, exactly. Right, a coach who takes over a bad team. Well, I inherited a lot of really not good players, and so they're going to continue to lose because I inherited a really bad team. No, it's your job now to fix it. Right. I mean, fix we can't, it. We can't expect you can't expect this administration to turn things around with the how bad they were. In well, how long has he been in office now? Uh, ten months. Ten months. <clears throat> Over ten, ten whole months. months. We're going on eleven now. <sighs> So I can't go by fast enough. I know. I know the midterms can't come fast enough. Really. I, th- I'm just trying to hold my breath and hang on until the midterms when we can stop some of this nastiness. Some of the, you know, like the build back better crap and all the infrastructure they're putting into place. I hope that's in our true. Government. I, do too. I hope that's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if, if we only had, if there was ever a time in, uh, you know, in history when we had the white house and, Senate and the <clears throat> Congress. Yeah, and it's the, just never representatives. happened. It's then, never happened. Then, then we could turn this thing around. All right, right there, Mr. True, Pipe ben. Dream. Yeah. I know. Mm. I know. I, there's no mm. way that that could happen. Crazy <laughs> talk from an old so. 300-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it mm. never happens the way we hope it does. True. I, That's true. I'm really disheartened, actually. Oh, oh, Ben, I, really I hate to see that. I hate oh, to see that. Oh, no, man. No, we look to you. I've been wandering around, and I keep thinking... Not good. <laughs> we look to you for inspiration. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Well, wow. you remember when you shouted to the woman when she asked you, uh, hey, Mr. Franklin, what have you left us? And you said, I mean, I'm like, if I you could keep it. it. I mean, I hate and, that. I, that lady pissed me off to begin right. with. Wow, even even I before that. I know. Even, I don't talk about the things that she said before that. Well, tell us now. because. No. Of, I Get it off your embar- chest. It's I been three centuries, her. man. Tell I don't us. Want to the first her. thing she said was, "Was uh, let's go, Brandon." All right, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> yes. And then she that's asked exactly you, "What, she said, what have you left go, us?" Brandon. And you said, and said "A republic, said, if you can quit, keep it." Quit using that term, <laughs> that racist <laughs> term, that racist misogynistic yeah. term. Right. Wow. Let's go, Brandon. Right. Mm. And the problem is, uh, we can't keep it. Apparently, I that's know. the problem. Uh, we're we're not. We're not even trying to keep it right now. I know. So we need that to turn around quickly. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Nancy Pelosi, uh, she and Democratic uh, New York Representative Yvette Clark were seen <laughs> Tuesday yeah. at, at a Washington, D.C. bar. I don't. Violating the district's mask Whoa. mandate. Whoa. What? Well, she's Nancy Pelosi. Right. I thought she was supposed to set an example for us. In the video. Both Pelosi and Clark can be seen speaking to a small group inside a crazy golf club at Swingers in DuPont Circle. Wait, the, the name, so of, the the name place of the bar is, is uh, Swingers. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, there she is. Oh. Swinging, I Swing. guess. No. <laughs> no <baby. laughs> yeah. It's, uh... Why have we circled their lips? No look, mask. there's no mask. See? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, that's right. All right. So that's where the mask should be, right that's there. That's where it should be. Mm. If you're following, we wouldn't know that without the circle. No, right. <laughs> right. Which is why I was confused. Yeah. Wait, uh, it's actually you need a bigger circle I, than that because it's supposed to go mouth. over your nose. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because she has right. a big mouth. Nancy Pelosi. Others in the crowd can be seen not wearing a mask either. Mm-hmm. Pelosi appears to have her arm around Clark, who's smiling without a mask. Uh, well, they're all vaccinated and yeah, they're safe. Yeah, that no, that doesn't. No, wow, that's not an excuse. Sorry, come on, Ben. I expected more from you on these takes. Uh, Democratic D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser 
announced on Monday that the indoor mask mandate will be lifted on November 22nd, but it hasn't been yet. Yeah. Right. And there they are violating the rules right. again. Again. They don't care. They don't care. They, they really, they don't care. They don't care. Look, they're... <laughs> They're the elite. They're not like us. I know. You know, the little you people. Care. Yeah, I was That's waiting. I That's the only things. thing I can think of. I, I was waiting for Pat to play it. Hmm. A, hey, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to. Oh, no, oh, no, I'm not going to. Come on. Fine. I'm not a trained monkey. Trained monkey. Okay. Fine. Lost time is never, never found again. Wow, it just rolls right yeah. off your tongue there, Benjamin. Wow, that's good, Ben. Lost yeah, thank time. You. That's good. Thank yeah. you. Never found again. Okay, you talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. One of the That's weirdest awesome. moments of all time. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. Inflation is already running hot. We know that. Right mm. at the highs of the last couple decades. In fact, three decades. 30-year 30, 30 high right now. <sighs> and now the Dems are pushing through another massive spending plan. Uh, so here's the deal. If you think money grows on trees and you buy into this government program, then just yeah, forget about it and, and just relax. But if you're freaked out about the impact this uh, spending is going to have on our already high inflation, then protect your savings now. Diversify your savings into physical gold and silver with Birch Gold Group. Birch Gold Group is the company I highly recommend for precious metals. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, countless five-star reviews, and thousands of satisfied customers. And they can help you protect your hard-earned savings. And right now, thanks to a little-known section of the IRS tax code, you can legally move your IRA or 401k into precious metals with no tax uh, implications or penalties. Now, it's important to do this right away because who knows what they're going to do with the tax situation? Who knows what they're going to tax next? No kidding. So move it into a tax-sheltered account and request a free info kit to get all the information for Birch Gold. By texting the word PAT to 989-898. It's a comprehensive 20-page kit, and it reveals how gold and silver can protect your savings. No cost, no obligation. Just request the information. Don't wait. Text PAT to the number 989-898. PAT to 989-898. Pat Gray. Unleashed. Also, Jen Psaki sounding off again yesterday. Mm. Um, good. Oh, good. She's great. great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she was doing some uh, question and answer thing online, mm-hmm. and uh, they were talking about, um, I don't know, how, how often Joe Biden takes questions, and she had a very humorous this response. This is amazing. Yeah. A lot of people think of President, former President Trump is quite accessible. <laughs> President Biden has answered questions to twice as many times. Uh, at uh, at these events than President Trump did at this point in time. So no that's how he's way. decided to engage and approach. Get and, you know, that's works for here. him. But I think there's sometimes um, an unintended, um, you know, a- inaccurate uh, view of that. Yeah, there is an inaccurate view of it from her. <laughs> yeah. He's answered twice as many questions as Trump. No. I mean, there's I, no. I, that would be difficult to even say if she tried to noodle it out with her at these events. Right, if they're yeah. trying to find some right. some line that she's using to that, uh, I don't think no. there is one. I don't. think I mean, so Donald either. Trump answered questions every day to, to mm. every person on every street corner. Didn't man. care if they were combative or what. Right. Yep. In fact, he liked it when they yeah. were combative. <laughs> He'd walk out and stop in front of the press every day, every single what do you day. Got, what do you got for me? Yeah. Ask me anything. What do you, what do you got for me? And then he'd answer them. He'd take three or four questions, and then he'd move on to the helicopter where I gotta he's go. going. I got to go. Yeah. See ya. Okay. But uh, there it is for today. Because he loves it. I know. He loves it. This guy can't handle it. And so he doesn't want any questions, and he leaves every time because that's what they tell him to do. He has not answered questions more than... Uh, more than Trump? Come no on. Way. Twice as much. Come on. Twice, twice as, as much. <laughs> Stop yeah. it. That's, that, that's where she kind of built on a lie. She's like, right. okay, I, I'm not going to just go for as much. I'm going to say twice yes. as much. Right. And, and, that, and, and her line, though, at these events, and that's why I think she's trying to draw some parallel at these at events. These, yeah. At these events. I'm know. not sure what. And, and yeah. I don't think, she might be trying to split a hair there. And, I don't and know. I, and I don't, I don't even think that's true. No, no way. way. 
No, no it's way. not true under any circumstances. <laughs> right. Uh, she also had this to say about uh, gas prices. Just to be clear, and I know that's been a criticism, so that's why I said that, not an accurate one. Look, our mm-hmm. view is that the rise in gas prices over the long term makes yeah. an even stronger case for doubling down our investment and oh. our focus on clean energy options oh. so that we are not relying on uh, the fluctuations and OPEC and their willingness to put more supply and meet the demand in the market. Mm-hmm. There's the OPEC thing again, and they're also blaming the gas companies on this. They're, yeah. you know, ExxonMobil yeah, and that's a new thing, and Chevron and all the gas companies. You knew that was coming. You knew it was coming, and it had to. And so that's what they're doing. First of all, first of all, we wouldn't have to rely on OPEC for anything if you would have left things alone uh, and left it the way Donald Trump had it. We were energy independent from those guys. We didn't have to get a drop of oil from them. We were an exporting country when Trump left office. So from that angle, of course it's Joe Biden's fault. He's absolutely negated everything Trump did to make us energy independent. And then to blame Exxon and Chevron and, you know, when you've created the scenario in the environment where it's tough to get the oil to from one place to the next, to refine it, to, to uh, get it from the refinery to the pumps, then, of course, the price is going to go up. It has to. It has to. And it did. And it's because of the terrible policies of this administration. It's just so agonizing to listen to these people. Wonder how long she's going to be there. Uh, I, I expect her to leave like in January or February. People Zaki? are saying by the end of next year. Yeah, I mean she's already said goodbye. That's why I mean I, so we, I think we mentioned it the other day, but I really did think she was going to just stay away after her COVID. Yeah, thing. I, I kind of did too. Hmm. I half expected her to just give it up. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? But apparently she loves to lie. So <laughs> I mean, it's possible she's not ready to give that yeah, up. Maybe yet. she's not ready yeah. to. You know, she doesn't want to give up her time yeah. with Peter. I mean, who? who? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I'm just. No, uh, you don't. She and Ducey? She and uh, Peter yeah. Ducey, you're saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if, she, okay. if, she leaves the, if she leaves the White House, then, you know. She won't get to see him every yeah. day. Look up, look up how old Peter Ducey is. Oh, God. Because he's is he I, into older women. Dude, why am I doing this? But I am. What are you talking about? It's, it's a, work, a workplace relationship. Uh, it happens he's th- all the time. He's, th- he's 34. He's 34? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, how old is Jen? I get 42. Oh, oh, okay. That's perfect. Wow. That's not bad. No, it's that's not. not a bad age difference. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Peter Ducey is still 17. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When did he, how old was he when he, when he started? When did he get to yeah. 34? How is that possible? That's what happens. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Bad. Didn't he seem like he was a baby when he first started Always, doing this on yeah. his dad's show? Yeah. Well, I mean, to call Fox and Friends his dad's Became show a, is well, a stretch. Is. Yeah, <laughs> right. no, but it is. So it was, certainly was. Wow, yeah. 12 years ago, he started. Is it 12 years? As a, wow. Yeah, and 2009, so he was 22. 22 years old at the time. Probably right out of college, maybe. Yeah, Villanova. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That's a great gig. <laughs> you aren't lying. And it now is. he's got to be making seven figures. And he does such oh, a yes. great job. He's got to oh, be yes. making over a million. He does such oh, a great job. He does every day. A brilliant job. He asks the questions that if yep. you were there, you would ask Jen Psaki, and I love it. Yes. Him. He's earning his keep. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt about that. Plus. And, you know, he was. it was just... <laughs> plus. Plus, there's the Jen Psaki business that's going on with him oh. and her. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> I, can, I mean, I can tell. Can you? When, yes. When, can you, you watch, when you watch those clips, I can tell. Don't okay. you have a boat to catch that goes to France or something, man? <laughs> Good grief. Bro. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Uh, so, so anyway, what's that, what else is going on in the news, Pat? Well, there's some <laughs> high-quality trolling of uh, Joe Biden by that. Governor DeSant- Ron DeSantis oh, yeah. in Florida. Is, this is fun. Off, off, been really good lately, too. He's he's fantastic. Yeah. I know. He's fitting to be on a debate stage with Joe Biden. He can't wait to run for oh, president. Wow. There, that would be uh, embarrassing, actually. <laughs> for Him Joe and Biden? Biden. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, there's no way that can happen. Yeah. I, I, I don't think the Democrats are going to let him run. No. I don't think. He can't. No way. He's too unpopular. He can, he couldn't possibly handle a debate no at, this, at this point. Quite no honestly, way. 
you could convince the man <clears throat> that uh, election day is in 2025. <laughs> right. And, and, and then say, oh, whoops, how'd that happen? How did we have a presidential election without you? We're going to start doesn't. running uh, next year, yeah, Mr. President. <laughs> okay. We're going to start running next year. <laughs> All right. Is there going to be pudding before? <laughs> wait, yeah. Yeah, there's a wait, lot of pudding lot between of pudding. now and then. A lot, a lot of pudding. Of pudding. <laughs> Why are the movers outside the White House? <laughs> well, they're just, they're just, they're just. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't have a good lie for you, sir. Yeah, yeah. There's a pilgrim is reenactment. That, it's coming <laughs> right now, sir. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it Thanksgiving again? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. It's just carry on, sir. <clears throat> Why have all my things been put into boxes? You just protect them. What's right? that? Just in case there's like a storm or something. On. You want to keep them shielded Look. from the elements okay why don't you go to bed don't don't forget to put my pudding in yeah. there okay sure okay <laughs> okay go go sleepy sleep now <laughs> so yesterday governor DeSantis holds a press conference to announce the signing of a bill or something in brandon florida love it at brandon <laughs> honda <laughs> i love it i mean i forgot that's great i love that i mean i'd forgotten that uh He's who is that brandon honda is mm-hmm. that right? Yeah. Remember, I, I mean, I changed my name a long time ago uh, to Brandon Hyundai. Mm. Uh, oh, because they have the a same Hyundai place. dealership, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, What'd you get the same place? I, cool. I don't know if it's the same place, but it's, I mean, it's, oh, they're it's all right the there. Yeah, same same yeah. stuff. So yeah. what did you get out of the deal? I got a car. Nice. <laughs> that you got to drive. I got a Hyundai that they yeah. would drive, and they'd send me, you know, I'd go out and pick up a new one every so often. Those were the days, man. Those were good times. I know. 90s and 2000s, good times in radio. Oh, man. <laughs> really? You just have to change my name to Brandon, Brand, Brandon Hyundai, Hyundai. Yep. Uh, and I can uh, have a car? I would so okay. do that. <laughs> so do that. That's so great. Heartbeat. Brandon Hyundai, formerly, uh, formerly Jeff Fisher. <laughs> okay. Buy a car. Okay. <laughs> That's so good. And how long did the how long did the deal last? Uh, I don't know, a year, year a and a half, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Ah, those were good <laughs> it was times. Fun. When Glenn and I first went to Connecticut, we got uh, from this Toyota dealership uh, matching uh, Toyota MR2s. Do you remember the nice. NR- yeah. Toyota MR2? Oh, they were nice. They're <laughs> like mini Ferraris. And uh, all we had to do was, you know, mention it Talk once about a day it on or something. Air. Yeah, yep. that's all we had to do. Nice. Good times. <laughs> Those times don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could, right? <laughs> I, I, they could, but they're, I don't think they're going to. But I mean, we've made yeah, up. Look, it's like places. it's like I like I've always said: lost time is never found again. Oh, that's one of your powerful quotes. I know. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. man. Really, you should good write stuff. that down. I've always said it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I will. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the almanac or the something. Poor Richard's <laughs> almanac. <laughs> I mean, you've got so many great things to say. How do you know what to I, put in you. there and what not to? Thank you. Can't put everything in it. Well, you could, you know. Uh, now. <laughs> Uh, Joe Biden thanked uh, Representative Rashida Tlaib for oh, welcoming cool. him to Detroit, Michigan yesterday. Uh, two days ago. Sharp. Cool. Was it two days ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharp as He's a good. tack, this guy. <laughs> as well as I want to thank Representative... <gasps> I, where, 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 where's Representative Tlaib? I want oh, to thank oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. into the city. He got there. Into your district. Thank you. Oh, I got I a passport. It very much. Passport you know, to the city. You know how he got there. It's written down in front of him. Yeah. That's how he got there. Yeah. Maybe the teleprompter hadn't moved up quick enough. Yep. Mm. Something. Yeah. Teleprompter or he couldn't see it for a second. Yeah. And then it hit him. Representative Tlaib. I got it. I got it, everybody. <laughs> Relax. Yes, yes, Everybody's yes, yes, screaming yes. in my ear. Tlaib, Tlaib. Okay, I got it. And, and thank you. Gave her. <laughs> wait, gave him a passport to the city. What, the city of Detroit? I don't, a passport? I, I feel like that's kind of offensive. I don't... No, thank you. I'll, <laughs> you can keep your passport to Detroit. I didn't know that we needed one to go there. Yeah, right. <laughs> getting there. Oh, yeah. Crazy. What a world. <sighs> it's fun. All right. We're having fun. 888 900 Don't forget, uh, more on trivia coming up. What's the game today? Oh, yeah. Indianapolis Buffalo. Yep. Nice. All right. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Welcome. Great to have you with us. 888 also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Got some tweets here. Axis Tech 
tweets, those who think the Build Back Better bill will pay for itself are the same ones who think zero down with no payments for a year saves money. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Right. No, no, don't take it through. Don't. Uh, Speaking of old-time radio things, we used to do... Uh, <laughs> It was the same dealership we got the the Toyotas from. Uh, they used to we wa- walk in there and do a you know the remotes. Absolutely, We'd be yeah. there on a Saturday. Come down and get a free hot dog. Yep. Say Just hi to me and Glad here. Spin the prize Come wheel. On, spin the prize wheel. Get a koozie. We've got CDs. <laughs> oh yeah. Get your KC one hundred and one koozie uh, for your trouble. Come on now. <laughs> But we'd walk into the dealership and ask the manager, so what do you want to do today? What do you want to do? To talk about? And he'd be like, what do you want to do? We could do zero down uh, <laughs> and yeah. zero a year for whatever, or we can do uh, a lot down and no payments. Right. What do you want to do? Whatever I mean, you want to work like, out. There's a scam for every single every single I one mean, of these I things. I beg to differ with that you it's on a scam. the word scam. But... <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you put zero down, okay. your payments are going to be extremely high. And if you have a big down payment, then your payments will be low. But you've put out if a I put lot of money. Zero for it. down and no payments for a year. That's good living right there. Yeah, until the second year. Yeah. <laughs> until I'll we'll, we'll figure that out. Then. The yeah. second year. We'll and that's that what people decide. Takes about, yeah, I'll deal with that later. We'll figure out that. Yeah. Takes about you know, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, thank you. We'll figure it out. Because <laughs> what you think is, well, I'll be making more money by then. And I'm going to get a fine. fat raise. Yeah, it'll be it'll fine. Be fine. It'll, be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. So I'll be able to afford the two thousand dollar a month payment, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll Don't be worry fine. about it. And Joe Don't Biden is elected. Here's a bumper realize, sticker. Go whoops. get a car. Yeah, Shut right. Up. Right. We're planning. But uh, yeah, the dollar down, dollar a month. Uh, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's dollar great. Dollar down. And then you you only owe thirty seven thousand dollars at the end of the term. So that I mean that's not bad on a twenty thousand dollar sticker <laughs> price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Steadfast Baptist tweets, come on, guys, Biden and the Democrats' plan is a no-brainer, which is exactly how they thought of it. Mm-hmm. Huh? See, see what he did? Oh, I see. Uh, and from Bob Labla, the $5 trillion Build Back Better plan divided into all 145 million U.S. taxpayers costs about $35,000 a person. Just for that bill alone. Not that's not bad. bad, though. That's not bad at all. <laughs> if it's only 35000 per person... I can do that. That's all right. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm not even going to check the math on this. I'm so disgusted. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, Jim Eagle 017 tweets for those of us old enough to remember Biden's an- antics since the 70s. I can only compare Biden being president to Kaepernick being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. <laughs> that may actually happen. Oh god, I can see that happening. That oh, would not because surprise of his me. activism. Absolutely. Oh, oh no. The, the, the Hall mm-hmm. of Fame would have an activism wing, yep. a corner. Oh, Absolutely, God. that mm-hmm. could happen. Oh, I can yep. just see a speech right the, now. America sucks. Uh, NFL's a plantation um, yeah. for slaves. I'm so yep. happy that we're finally getting a chance to point this out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we were going to sh- point it out right over here in this corner of the Hall of Fame. And mm-hmm. At the forefront Jeez. is Colin Kaepernick. That would not surprise me. Not at all. Not at all. That could happen at any moment. It absolutely could. (laughs) Really could. Uh, In New Mexico, they're changing what fully vaccinated means, which is, uh, you know, this is great. New Mexico currently has a serious COVID surge on its hands, I guess. And now the state's Democrat governor is hinting at more drastic measures to try to get the state's case count under control. Is this the crotch grab lady? Uh, Michelle Grisham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just had a big, mm-hmm. uh, big problem with uh, grabbing some guy's crotch uh, at some meeting. Yeah, that, that, absolutely. <laughs> what was the problem? It's business. She. What was the problem? On she's that? she spilled water. Yeah, and <laughs> what on accident? Right uh, <laughs> on this guy's lap and grabbed okay. his crotch, and it was in and? this full meeting. <laughs> Yeah, what's He's that? a man. This he probably crotch, liked it. She is the crotch crab governor. Yeah. But see, that's <laughs> that's that's what you get from that. He's a man. He probably liked it. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, and that, this will go nowhere it's because fine. of that. Hmm. Talk about sexism. <laughs> now, if you had been bitten by a snake down there, then the hands <laughs> off. Yeah, whoa, 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 don't whoa. even think oh, about it. Hold the ice. <laughs> I'm with you, man. <laughs> it's this guy over here. So anyway, uh, Grisham. Even threatened one of her state's rural school boards for refusing to force kids to mask up. Wow. Jeez. Uh, 
she's also implemented a vaccine mandate for healthcare employees, teachers, high risk workers. The Santa Fe, uh, according to the Santa Fe Mexican New Mexican report, and despite the fact that nearly two thirds of the state's population, so seventy four percent of all adults, are fully vaccinated, wow, making it the thirteenth most vaccinated state in in the U S. Uh, the cases are on the rise, and so now she's considering. Uh, making the booster shot, the third shot. The fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated. Yeah, yeah you're not fully I'm vaccinated surprised. unless you have all three shots. I'm surprised that isn't uh, across the board. They just keep moving the goalposts yeah. here. 15 days to flatten the curve. Well, okay, just stay home till we get a vaccine. Well. Just wear the mask and stay home until we get a vaccine. Okay, well, now we have the vaccine, but keep wearing the mask. And even if you're vaccinated, just to be sure, okay? But please get fully vaccinated so you can participate in society. Okay, yes, you need to be fully vaxxed, but now you're not fully vaxxed unless you've had a third freaking shot. Yeah. What's the next goalpost? The fourth. The fourth booster. Well, the next goalpost is just up to date. I was just about to say, yeah, the next goalpost would be within the last six months. Yeah, just up to date. Mm Mm-hmm. Is there any doubt in anybody's mind that that's going to be the case? No. Because this the third shot's not going to be a miracle shot where it makes the... We're know, already seeing it isn't, right? I mean, right. there's countries uh, that are that are uh, all damn near fully vaccinated and they're having breakouts and breakthrough cases. And then they're, mm-hmm. and I'm talking about fully vaccinated, twice vaxxed, and three times vaxxed. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. incredible. Because this it country, just doesn't last forever. The people, this country is overwhelmingly vaccinated. I mean, I'm really mm-hmm. sick of hearing, well, I gotta get vaxxed. Everybody's gotta get vaxxed. Everybody's gotta get vaxxed. I mean, we're pretty close to being everybody being vaxxed as far as, as, as everybody as you can get in if the you, United States of America. If you're talking adults, it's, I don't know, 75% or something. And I think, and, and the most crazy. vulnerable is in the 90s. It is. I mean, yeah, it's just it incredible. Is. Yeah. When that would include you, Ben. At, uh, Thank what you. are you, 350? Hey, I believe risk. that isn't the most vulnerable yeah. category. Yeah. Well, especially with gout. No <laughs> doubt you've got high blood pressure. <laughs> oh, Jeez, Ben, you, you need that fourth uh, and fifth shot. You really do. Yeah. You really do. It was nice of those guys We're to concerned. carry you in here on a chair earlier. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, Get man, your I foot wish, into place. I wish that could happen. <laughs> you have no idea how I wish that could happen. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, yes, I would. Yeah, that would be nice for you. Yes, I would. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me tell you about Omega XL. Ben, this could help you. You should really, really oh. pay attention. This oh, is okay. better than the opium that you've been taking. <laughs> it really is. It's Because it's all natural, you won't get addicted I mean, to this. I'll let you go ahead and okay. say that now. Omega XL. <laughs> try it. it. Seriously, it. try it. It'll build up in your system. It'll help the places where it's inflammation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where there's in where there's inflamed joints, this will really help. Okay, All right. and we have about 360 joints that take a beating with daily activity and aging. So at 350, yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> yes. that's uh, you've taken some serious. It takes a while on, to turn some things around. I know. Uh, that's why I I have taken Omega XL because uh, because of the science, it just works. When we're young, our bodies produce SPMs which is nature's way of keeping our joints healthy. But then as we age, we don't produce enough of the SPMs. And that's why I was in pain and had an inflamed elbow joint. And then the Omega XL started building up in my system. After a week, the pain was uh, a lot better. And then after two weeks, it was gone. And it hasn't been back since. Visit OmegaXL.com slash Pat. OmegaXL.com slash Pat. When you buy your first bottle... They're going to throw in a second one for free. OmegaXL.com slash Pat or 800-844-4888. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Was uh, President Braindead at GM yesterday or the day before? Two days ago. Yeah, he's on some on his uh, whirlwind <clears throat> tour now, right? Sure. Or he's Okay. On his whirlwind yeah, I think tour, he's on, he's on what does qualifies as a whirlwind tour for that old man? Stops. Couple stops yeah. at the at the one stop is whirlwind for him. Right, right. <laughs> the, I, oh, the, wow, that was, whew, yes, that was too the, much. He goes to the ice cream shop <laughs> and then the daycare. Yeah. The turnaround was yeah. way too fast. <laughs> 
So here he is at GM talking about electric vehicles. And it went a little something, something like, like this. Like, so the auto industry in Detroit's leading the world in electric vehicles. You know how critical it is? Barry, I can remember talking to you way back in January about the need Barry. for America to lead in electric vehicles. Okay. So hey, I can pause it for a second. So way he's talking to back. Barry. He can remember. I can remember Barry talking to you. Yeah. Way about back. A way back. And mm-hmm. Like yesterday. No, no. How old were you yesterday, Barry? Don't you? So he's talking to Barry talking about to Barry. electric vehicles. I'm talking to Barry. All right. Okay. Let's see the rest of this. Talking to you way back in January about the need for America to lead in electric vehicles. And we need to lead. And I can remember your dramatic announcement <clears throat> that by 2035, GM would be 100% electric. Oh, it changed wow. the whole story, Mary. Wherever, Mary wherever now, it's Mary. now it's Mary. Mary. Hold on. <laughs> Pause it for Barry. a second. Did Barry just get a sex <laughs> change? Or hell is Barry? He's... Barry, yeah, could be, Barry's Barry could now be Mary. Mary. So is Barry trans? Excuse Barry me, Mary? Ma'am. He he is ma'am. So I looked this up, okay? Because yeah, okay. I'm like, all right, who is it? Barry who or runs, Mary? Who runs the place there? Okay, who is it? And it's Mary yeah, Barra. She's the yeah, she's the big one. So he has no clue. He mis- misreads his. So teleprompter. Barry is wrong. Barry Not is wrong. Mary right. is right. He, he should have said Mary, correct. but he wanted right. to say Mary Barra. <laughs> Right, and, and, and he says Barry, Barry, and then Mary. <laughs> okay, ah, Mary. Barry, tell me about your electric I mean, Mary, don't the, you know me? If you're the CEO of a General Motors, how do you work with this guy? I don't know. I mean, he doesn't even know you. <clears throat> doesn't even know your name. Okay, so 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 then he says that Barry Mary says that GM's going to be all electric by 2035. And then what else does he say? You electrified the entire Wait. automobile industry. I'm serious. Oh, so she's done. So now it's happened led. already. And it matters. You did it. Drastically and it matters. improving the climate by so we're reducing done? hundreds of millions of barrels of oil. Are we in 2035 now? So she did it already. Yeah, she exactly. promised by 2035, but she got it done by this year. Wow, ten months later, That's eleven months great. later. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. So and GM be, represents mm-hmm. the whole industry now, apparently. Apparently, uh, yeah. no nod to Tesla in his remarks. I'd like to point oh, out. Oh no way. Yeah. But uh, he's terrible. Uh yeah. And getting worse. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Pat had a conservative mail sent this tweet uh, showing... Yeah, like a half... More than a half-empty bag of Ruffles potato chips because I'm seeing that too. And I'm sure, Jeffy, you know, you've seen that in, in some of the items that you purchase, right? Okay, this is Ruffles. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he put it in a clear... Look how at is that. it a clear bag like that? It's not a clear bag. He's just opened it up and showing that it's less than half full. I mean, way less. That's, yeah, like, I've seen this too. There's like ten. Have chips you not experienced this as well? I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, when the it's the bag size doesn't represent the amount that's in the bag. Oh, here we go. See, the, <laughs> see, this is what I was waiting <laughs> really? for. This is yes. what I asked Jeffy. Really, Jeffy, exactly. you've seen is this right? too, right? I mean, it says how much <laughs> see, what, what's see, in the he's bag. He's gonna defend it the empty bag the stuff. Bag. Well, contents it's, may settle in shipping. Okay, you might have a bag this big. That doesn't mean you got chips That's all the way right. up. Thank you. <laughs> you, you. You might have this many chips in the bag. Okay, first of all, you're agreeing. look on the back and see how many ounces you got in there. It says right on the front. You don't have to look on the back. Wait, am I supposed to weigh it when I take it off the shelf? Uh, that's great. You're agreeing to purchase the bag <laughs> and the you. contents. There's no guarantee that the contents take up the entirety of the bag. That is crazy. I mean, there's... there's I'm seeing that bad, too. It's it's like 98% air. <laughs> but again... Well, again, nobody <laughs> said it wasn't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the I can't help it if you're fooled by the size of the bag. <laughs> They're the worst. Oh, man. Ben, that's just not good business, my friend. That's not, that's not good business. I didn't say anything about it being good I, or bad business. I hate to be business. telling I'm you, just... you know, an incredible inventor and one of the brilliant <laughs> well, minds of all time uh, <laughs> about what's good business and what isn't, but that's not good business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those businesses are following your motto. They're a penny saved is a penny earned. They're just saving money. Thank you. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not lying, so it's okay. About half of Democrats are now blaming Biden's policies for inflation, by the way, uh, which Whoa. we're seeing at the at the stores. Wait, Democrats are blaming Biden? Even Democrats. Wow. Americans bad. fed up with historic inflation are largely putting the blame hmm. 
where it belongs. <laughs> On Joe Biden <laughs> and his administration's policies. That's according to a morning consult political Politico poll. Uh, the key facts, the poll found 62% of registered voters believe that Biden's policies are at least somewhat responsible for inflation. That's incredible. Compared to 11% who believe the president isn't responsible at all. <laughs> who are those people? Wait, how many? I want to know who those freaking people are. 11%. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, let's see. The numbers aren't much better for Democrats. 46% of Democrats say he's at least somewhat responsible. 16% believe he holds no responsibility, even among Democrats. How about that? Okay. No responsibility? No. Well, yeah. Wow. 16%. But that's not a real high percentage of Democrats. You would expect mm. more than that. I would, at least. Mm. Among Republicans, 70% say the president's very responsible. Voters are overwhelmingly troubled by inflation. 60% very concerned, 27% saying they're somewhat concerned. Yeah, but there's plenty of stuff in the stores, right? Like, just in time for Christmas? Yeah, no, there really? isn't. That's no. not, that's not mm -mm. what, what uh, hmm. Jolton Joe Biden said. I'm well, not used to being president and everybody's standing. I, uh -huh. uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. The Walmart and Target have made public today what they told me about a week ago. What, what tell me? That Boy. they're stocked up for the holiday season. Yeah, their inventories are up. <laughs> and they'll have all the toys, food, and other items oh. that shoppers are looking for in the holiday season. They were good. That's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so don't worry about it. The shelves are, are actually full. Yeah. I have been amazed mm -hmm. at how empty the store shelves are. Yeah, the grocery in stores. Texas. Yeah, the grocery shelves yeah, are they're, definitely empty, yeah. I mean, you'll go down these aisles and a product that you wouldn't normally think anybody's buying is completely gone. Yeah. Completely gone. Yeah. They're empty. But there's a market for empty bags where potato chips used to be, apparently. That's, yes, a so big people market are just for snatching that. Those the bags are show. not empty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there's, at least, there's at least 10 <laughs> chips in each of those bags, Keith. Okay. So <laughs> shut up. Yes, sir. All right, more on trivia next. Upon the frozen tundra of the human mind, two teams go head to head. How many weeks are in a typical year? 60. 60. 60, 60 yeah. weeks is really close. In a brutal battle between brainless boobs. What is SPF supposed to protect you from? COVID-19. COVID-19. Hey, thank you. And senseless buffoonery. What direction does the sun rise? In the west. In the west. Oh. Dullards versus dummies. Name one landlocked state. California. Oh, California. Man, that's a good guess. Dopes versus dodos. A menorah is usually associated with what religion? Voodooism. Voodooism? Yeah. Pretty close. Moron versus moron. If you're in a selfie, who most likely took the picture? The person in the middle. The person in the middle. In a monumental matchup of minuscule minds. Who is the Speaker of the House? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it depends on whose house you're talking about. Usually it's the wife. Oh. This, this is Moron Trivia. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. A time to play Moron Trivia. Here's our Commissioner, Ben Franklin. To tell us how Moron Trivia works. I'll be doing that when I'm drinking coffee, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we predict the outcome of an NFL game. Now, mm -hmm. the NFL, the National Football League, came yeah. around, mm -hmm. you know, after my after my time. Yeah, very, very But much I'm aware so. of the game, and mm -hmm. we, we predict the outcome of that game by calling convenience stores, which amazingly came around after I was mm -hmm. yeah. into it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know other places in the local municipalities of the game. Uh, today, uh, Indianapolis uh, takes on Buffalo. Buffalo is the home team. We uh, call them, we ask them uh, four questions a quarter. The city that answers the most questions correctly wins the game, and that's who we predict will win the actual mm. NFL game Okay. by that uh, outcome. Are you a big Eagles are... fan, Ben, with the Philadelphia yeah, anything Based to do with team. Philadelphia. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna be with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. just wondering because yeah. you were what you you told See, us because you week, lived you, there. Yeah, uh, you remember? Yeah, and, I, and, I, yeah. I do. But you actually, told us last yeah. week that you were born. I've been to my home. You were, but you born, were born in Boston, in Boston and right. their team is so. the Patriots, and we thought maybe there would be some loyalty there since I, it's named after you. I, ish. I, nah, no, not so really. you're an Eagles okay. guy. Okay, good. Good. All right then. 
So we'll be uh, we're calling somebody in Buffalo, even All as right. we speak, hoping to get somebody on the phone uh, very quickly to begin the more on trivia matchup this weekend. <clears throat> uh, meantime, let me tell you about this. Uh, do we have the picture of this goalie? Uh, the, the Iranian Iran- Iranian goalie, yeah, the because it, 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 it oh, there loses. There, there they are. She, wait, uh, no, there that's her. She, she is. That's her. There she is. The Iranian goalie. Um, <clears throat> no, no, is she Iran? No, she's Jordan, right? Yeah. Uh, the Jordan Football Association has accused the goalkeeper. For, oh no, for no, Iran's Iran. right, just okay. waiting for you. To Iran get women's <laughs> soccer team. They've accused her of being a man. I don't see how that is possible. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is right. ma'am. That is. I mean, look at her. She's 100%. lovely. She's lovely. Flower. She's a vision of loveliness there and beauty is. and yeah. femaleness <laughs> right there. Femininity. <laughs> That's the, the word I was groping for. Femininity right there. Hyper masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> Zora Kudaye, uh, 32 has since responded to the Jordan Football Association's request for a, quote, gender verification check. Oh, unquote. no. So, we know I guess you means. what? You, you gotta, show up to the committee and you pull down your pants <laughs> and you say, okay, uh, that's what you are. Right or there. is there a gender verification department? I Man, uh, I don't know how this Asking for works. a friend, are you? I just wondered. <laughs> yeah, just wondered. Honestly, this. don't know how this works. But... <laughs> She yeah. said, I will sue the Jordan F.A. because I am a woman. Oh, boy. Damn it. This is bullying <laughs> from Jordan. Oh. Allegation came after Iran beat Jordan in Uzbekistan on September 25th to qualify for its first ever Women's Asia Cup. Kudaye saved two penalties in See? the 4-2 to shootout oh, victory. Oh, yeah, they're just mad. Yeah, women can't stop the <clears throat> A ball. team manager for Iran denied the gender allegation and said the Jordanian team was looking for an excuse for yeah. losing the match. Thank yeah. you. Wow. Yeah. Cuz I don't I don't know just from that picture I don't see it. I don't I, I don't understand right. that claim at all. Right. And apparently the goalkeeper said, "What are you talking about over there?" <laughs> is that what uh, is I'm that, a girl. Really? That's a, Zora. Is that a quote. <laughs> I'm a girl. Zora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're starting to piss me off over there. <laughs> After the game, uh, the JFA uh, uh, reportedly approached the Asian Football Federation about Kudaye's gender. Uh, In a letter uh, dated November 5th, okay. the JFA cited doubts over the eligibility of a participating player and claimed the Iranian women's team has a history with gender and doping issues. No, Iran? Hmm. Hard to believe. When does the harassment end for poor Zora? Thank you. <laughs> the JFA requested for the AFC to initiate a transparent and clear investigation by a panel of independent medical experts to investigate the eligibility of the player in question and others on the Gosh, team. There it Can is. Can you imagine Gender that? verification department. Yeah. Apparently, they've caref- carefully examined each player on the national team in terms of hormones, so they haven't had them right. pull down their pants. <laughs> no visual check. But right. Just hormones. You seem really and, interested in this story, uh, so. Jeffy. Are you volunteering? Are you wanting to be on this? Uh, I mean, committee? what the hell? I'll look. I don't care. But I'm just saying this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll look. I don't care. <sighs> you know, over there, I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, and it is what it is. <laughs> All right, Dude. turn around. <laughs> cool. I mean, based on the looks, yeah. You, you know, there's. Obviously, a female in front of us. There's a square jaw there, uh, oh. and uh, sort like uh, a muscle structure that you would think very, very feminine, <laughs> right? Am I right? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. doesn't even pass that for screams like screams femininity. That, right that there. doesn't even pass for like 1840s beautiful woman. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. No, I don't know about no. that. <clears throat> I don't know if you're. Uh, oh yeah, you've been you've run the yeah. gamut there, Ben. Mm-hmm. Tell us. Yeah, that is true. So what era is Plus, Zora from? After you've hit the pipe for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the opium pipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's looking pretty good. Yeah, she's you're like, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's digging Zora. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about real estate agents I trust. Uh, because if you're trying to sell your home, and then maybe you're going to buy a home in a new location because you're relocating. Uh, it's really important to have a great realtor, somebody who really knows what they're doing, somebody who's been out with a whole bunch of clients and they know what those clients want in a home. And that's how these agents uh, can 
advise you on what to do with your home because they know what people are looking for. They know what color they want the home painted. They know what they want for the countertops. And, you know, everything's changed since we bought our house. Uh, we got here in, what, 2012? Yeah. And our house was built, I think, four years before that. So it's like 2008, which is... You're living in a dump. Ah, it's a dump now. Yeah, it's just a dump. We got to redo the whole I mean, sticking thing. I oh. remember when uh, buying a house mm-hmm. meant you just had to see an open patch. And, yeah. And you had to build one yourself. But those <laughs> right. you know, days are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that many times. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, Real Estate Agents I Trust. The name really kind of says it all. Real Estate Agents I Trust.com. Gray Unleashed. By the way, the IOC has just determined that. Um, oh, nice. Well, I'll tell you what they've determined in a minute here. We got Rick. Is that right? In Buffalo? Yes. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. How are things in Buffalo today? Just dandy. Yeah. Okay. Is it cold? <laughs> yeah. Wind's blowing. Yeah. Coming in from the north. I hate that, that when fun. that happens. I hate it when that happens. Are you a Bills fan? Yes. Yeah, right. Who isn't? Am I right? Thank you. Who isn't? Bill's Mafia, baby. How about that Josh? What's his face? Hmm? He's something, isn't he? Allen? Josh, what's his face? Yeah. 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 Josh You're Allen. from yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're from Buffalo. We love... Are you really? We love yeah. the Bills, Jim, man. Jim Kelly's still running the show there? <laughs> <laughs> We're just funning with you. We knew it was Josh Allen. Yeah. Uh, he's on, awesome, man. man. Uh, all right. We'd like to ask you four quick questions, if that's all right. Sure. All right. Uh, question number one. Which two colors are typically associated with the attire of the pilgrims? Orange and black. Orange? Orange and black. And black. <laughs> it's, that's so close. Yeah, really close. Mm-hmm. And I want to give that to you. <laughs> it's it's actually neon pink and red. See? Is yeah. What really? more. Yeah, yeah, the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. You were right there. Mm, you are really close. Uh, question number two. What is the stereotypical noise that a turkey makes? Gobble. Mm. Right. <laughs> we're we're going to give it to you, even yeah. though you didn't, didn't do the second out. gobble. I know. You didn't do the second gobble, one. Gobble. Did half we a point then? That. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Question number three. The Mayflower was the name <laughs> of what? A ship. A ship. Whoa. Yes. Yes, it was. Do you know whose particular ship that was? Mayflower. Yeah, Mayflower. the Pilgrims. Yes, the Pilgrims. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, yeah. good. Yeah. All right, and question number four. Orange what, and black. What Orange animals black. make up a turducken? A duck and a turkey. A duck and a turkey. Huh? Exactly right. No. No? No. It's a turd no. and a can. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no. A no, duck and a turkey. That doesn't sound good. No, it's a reflection of what a bird is, I right. think. Hey, so it's not a t- it's not a no. duck and a turkey. No. It's a chicken, okay. a turkey. And oh, a it's duck. a chicken too. That's right. Yes. Oh. So we had to hit. Right. I forgot about the chicken. Yeah, turducken. It's the can that we okay. were looking for oh, there. Uh, oh. All right. Well, my friend, oh, well. you, you did you yeah, did a fantastic did. You job. Got, anyway. You got two. Yeah, you got two. Nobody's ever gotten half of them right before. So uh, oh, as a reward, we're going to send you the home version of our game psychically, mm-hmm. and I just did. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye now. <laughs> Here's hoping James Lofton can have a touchdown this weekend for you guys. <laughs> or uh, Andre Risen. Maybe he'll score too. Oh, wait, Andre Risen? Uh, yeah, he played for the Bills. Andre right? Reed. Andre Risen played for the Falcons. Let's not talk but about that. But he them. played for the Falcons and I think the Bills. No. He didn't. I feel like he, he did. never played for the Bills? I'm going to look. Okay. I'm going to look right now. I mean, I know he wasn't playing when OJ was there, but. Uh... <laughs> OJ, the that's juice, right. I know. The juice played for the Bills. Right. Well, listen to the teams yards, Andre Risen played for. We're, we're trying to forget the that. Colts, now. Falcons, Browns, oh. Jaguars, Packers, Chiefs, Raiders, and of course the Toronto Argonauts. So he t- played for everybody but, yeah, but the, the Bills. Bills. Thinking of Andre <laughs> that's Reed. what we were thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It's yeah. exactly what I said yeah. in the first Thank place. You. Shut up, Keith. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> My bad. Two nothing Bills. Yeah, we, we're not supposed to talk yeah. about OJ playing for Buffalo. Anymore. No, you're not. Even though he. He ran for 2,000 yeah, yards. He was, the, he was the man. What, 1972? Juice, man. Yeah. Back in the day, it. he ran for 2,000 yards when there were 14 I games. Know. Yeah. And on that was the just in an airport terminal. You're not yeah. even talking about right. the field yards. Right? 
Was... That was before he set the single season record for murders See? in the NFL. Uh, yeah, that was a little before that. Ray Carruth tied it, but hasn't asked. First of all, he wasn't in the NFL at the time. Okay. First of all, <laughs> first of all, he was acquitted for that crime, if I remember correctly. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say. First of all, why are we talking about an innocent man as if he were guilty? <laughs> mm. Jury of his peers. Good, Good point, Ben. Good point. <laughs> So I'm not Get sure. Cane back. You want your cane back? <clears throat> All right. This is cool, man. It's like it's like a death blow at the end of it, man. Oh, Woo! On both ends. That oh, is, okay. that's a weapon. Yeah. And I feel threatened. It certainly could be. Uh, all right, so I have it. let's uh, take a break here, and maybe by the time we get back, we'll have somebody in uh, Indianapolis. If you're a dog owner, you know how important your dog is to you. Your dog is part of your family, mm-hmm. and you want the best nutrition for him, right? And they're not getting that nutrition from dry kibble dog food. Because that has the nutrients and the living stuff in it all burned out in the sterilization process, so that it lasts on the store shelf for three years. You know, you can't have you you can't have the probiotics and the antioxidants surviving that process. They just they just wouldn't for that long. So, add rough greens to the top of what your dog just sprinkle it on top, and your dog is going to absolutely love it. My dog devours this stuff. Glenn's does, Stu's does. Some dogs, though, take a little longer to get used to it. You want to find out which dog you have, um, and they'll send you a free bag so you can find out. Just a small little bag to try out for a couple of days, see if your dog likes it. And then if they do, then you go ahead and buy the bigger bag. But they'll send the first bag to you for free. All you have to pay is shipping. Just go to roughgreens.com, or you can call 833-ROUGHDOG. It's roughgreens.com slash pat, or 833-ROUGHDOG. Great to have you with us, 888-900-3393. Also, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, waiting for our first contest- contestant in Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. Should not be that hard. Hmm? Really? Right. Should not in be In the that greater hard. Indianapolis area? A, That's the middle of the country. I believe it's an hour later there, right? People should be up and moving. Indianapolis Eastern? I think yeah, so. I guess yeah, it's right. Eastern. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Indianapolis and Buffalo Buffalo leads 2 to nothing. Indianapolis hopefully about to get the the ball here uh pretty quickly <clears throat> meantime uh let's show you what happened in the courtroom yesterday at the kyle rittenhouse trial which i think oh. a lot of people are following this so carefully and closely and are obsessed with it oh yes it's one of those yeah it absolutely is and uh the judge uh was not pleased with msnbc yesterday <laughs> so we'll get we'll get to that Excellent. in a minute but first we have natalie in indianapolis Hey, Natalie. Hi. Hi. Hey. Uh, we'd like to ask you four quick questions, if that's all right. Oh, I'll give it a try. Okay. You can't ask anybody for help, and if you don't know the answer, just take a guess, all right? Okay. Question number one. Which two colors are typically associated with the attire of the pilgrims? <clears throat> uh, black and white. Boom. Nicely done. Uh, question number two. What is the t- stereotypical noise that a turkey makes? Gobble, gobble. Yes. Got them both. Uh, The Mayflower (laughs) was the name of what? A boat. A boat. Okay. (laughs) Yes. A little bit more. A boat. A boat. Uh, What (laughs) animals make up the turducken? A turkey, duck, and a chicken? Exactly. Wow. Right. Natalie. That's Woo. a clean sweep. Uh, wow. Are you, are you a doctor somewhere? You, a yeah. doc- you have a doctor? Did we call a hospital? <laughs> no, actually, my mom makes turducken every year for Thanksgiving. Seriously? Oh, All right. Nice. Wow. <laughs> So how do you get how do you get the turd, the uck, and the can all together in one pot? Is that hard? Yeah, you gotta... I don't know. My mom does yeah, it. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, you don't do it with she her? You don't, be... you don't stuff it in there? Nope. No. Nope. Better get that recipe. So you just eat. You don't help? Right. Is that how it goes? Oh, no. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, Natalie. Have a great uh-huh. Thanksgiving, won't you? You, you too. All right. Thank you. Don't tell me what to do, though. You were awful don't, nice. Don't ever tell me what to do. Wow. Was I? What until, was I until, to until do? the end, you got a little. Huh? I know. You got a little, a little upset. Little snippy. She was. Yeah. Telling you what to do. Yeah. yeah she told me what she to do. She was just responding like to your nicety. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. 
Ha- you're over so, it. So, so if we say <laughs> have a happy nice. Thanksgiving to you, yeah, don't tell me what that bothers you. Yeah. Wow. Me you just got, don't tell me have a None happy of your business whether I have a happy Won't Thanksgiving you? or not. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> right? So get off me, okay? <laughs> get off me. Aggressive. Uh, four to two now. Indianapolis <laughs> over the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, Natalie. So the Rittenhouse judge yesterday yeah, the had a message judge. for MSNBC. And here it is. Last evening... Um, a person who identified himself as James G. Morrison and who claimed that he was a producer with NBC News, employed uh, for N- MSNBC. MSNBC. Yeah, Lester. Um, um, and under the supervision of a person. What's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, under the supervision of someone named Irene Bayon in New York. Uh, for MSNBC, uh, the police, when they stopped him, because he was following at a distance of about a, a block and uh, went through a red light, pulled him over and inquired of him what was going on, and he gave that information and stated that he had been instructed by Ms. Bayon in New York to follow the jury bus. Wow. Uh, the matter is uh, under further investigation at this point. Um, and the media has asked questions about it. That's the latest I have. Um, and he was ticketed for uh, uh, violating a traffic control signal. Wait. Uh, he's not here today from what I'm told. And um, I have instructed that no one from MSNBC news will be permitted in this building. Wow. For the duration of this trial. Nice. Uh, this is a Good. very serious matter, and I mm-hmm. don't know what the ultimate truth of it is, but absolutely it, it, it would go without much mm-hmm. thinking mm-hmm. that someone who is following a, the jury bus, uh, that is a very ex- it's extremely mm-hmm. serious matter. Mm-hmm. And- yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he and the the producer said that he was instructed by New York to photograph the jurors, which they deny. But yes. Here we go. Wow. That's it's, extremely serious. We are we are on the edge. Uh, our our why our system, they have not been sequestered though is another I, I, question. Yeah, that's insane. Yes. Why have you not sequestered I don't the know. jurors? I, I, I don't understand why that did not. I happen. don't either. I don't either. That's madness, especially in this environment. Yes. When you've got this kind of interest, sequester the jury so yes. that they're not subjected to all of this crap. Especially now during, they know everything that's going on. Especially during the deliberations. Right. I right. mean, I, I, I get yeah. that we're not going to sequester them during the trial. We don't know how long it's going to take, that kind of thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. But for deliberations, oh, yeah, you're going on lockdown. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't understand that thinking at all. Yeah, I don't like that it's taking four days and counting shouldn't have point it should not have taken any time at all i know i mean they didn't even have to leave the room uh innis not guilty not guilty your honor (laughs) not guilty obviously that's not the case (laughs) it's not the case now and they're asking for more drone footage to be viewed and and they're going over testimony and all kinds of stuff which which really Um, helps out Kyle Rittenhouse. Right. And and again, the judge can uh, you know issue a mistrial at any point, and maybe that's what he's just waiting for. He's going to take – if maybe. the jury finds him guilty of something, then, uh, ooh, gee, thanks Sorry, for your service. Sorry, mistrial with thanks prejudice. Thanks for your service. And, Have a nice day. Uh, you can't try this yeah, kid Kyle, again. you go ahead and get out of here. Mm-hmm. Well, Have a nice day. I mean, and, and not to sound overly cynical, but welcome to 2021 America. What if the jurors who we've heard feel threatened by, well – Threats. There was a leak on it. And two of them do already. At least two of them. So what if they are contacting their family and Mm -hmm. and getting their their belongings and their family to a safe space before they uh, give their verdict? Honestly, that could be happening. I guess they they can't contact them, but you know that's happening. No, they're going home. Yeah. They're not sequestered. They're going home at the end of the night. At the end of the day, they go home. I guess the van just drives around the yeah, block a few times. Yeah, I thought the bus went to... Uh, then drops them off so, some special place. going to their house, for sure. I think so. Okay. I the, think they go and, home. And the MSNBC guy who They're wasn't the MSNBC guy uh, followed too close, so he got a ticket. That's interesting. That's, yeah. That's interesting. Well, I think he ran a red light while he was following. Yeah. 
uh, the van. So, is that a problem? Uh, in some to... in some jurisdictions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. They love it in Dallas when you do that. <laughs> I see it happen a lot. I know. That. They love it when you park on that line too. Right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. When you come to a stop, right. there's right. a line. Yeah, the line right before the crosswalk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's a line. Weird. So Elvis knows about that line, doesn't he? Jeffy? Yes, yes, he does. Pat knows about that line, don't you, Pat? Yes. Sure do. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> All right, more, more on trivia. I hope coming up. Indianapolis four, Buffalo two. Welcome, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. In the second quarter now of more on trivia. Cold sleep four two. And we have Birdo. All right. In Buffalo. Hey, Berto. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's you? Up? I'm doing well, man. Good. I'm we've, a... we've been concerned about that. Uh, you're okay, though, huh? Oh, I'm beautiful. Thank you for hey, asking. Are you nice. f- are you fully vaccinated? Oh, for sure. Good for you. Hello. Man. Do you have that uh, oh. that third booster yet? Oh, not yet. No. Yeah. Get that. Get mm. that. Uh, get that updated. Uh, I should. Yeah. Get on that. They're closing the the whole city uh, on December first. If you don't have it by then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should. Yeah, they drag you outside and beat you with clubs. No, I'm kidding. You don't, you don't have to get it. it. You so. don't have to get it, dude. No. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to ask you four questions, if that's all right. Okay? Is that all right? Yes, sir. Brother, okay. Yeah, okay. Question number one. Uh, by the way, you can't ask anybody for help, and if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. Question number it. one. The Monday after Thanksgiving is important for online retailers. That Monday is typically referred to as what? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tough one. Mm, I hear you. I hear it. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's a yeah. Monday sucks Monday. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's the hashtag. Sucks Monday sucks Monday. It's a U2 song. song? Da, 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 da. Monday sucks mm-hmm. Monday. Question number two. Uh, which well-known charity stands in front of stores this time of year ringing a bell? These are tough oh ones. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? right? Yeah. I hear you. Um, uh, it's trick or treat for UNICEF. So is that the full? Yeah, is that their full motto? Full, yeah, yeah, full yeah. motto. Trick or treat for UNICEF. It is. Yeah, it's okay. emblazoned it is. on the All big right. on the big <laughs> kettle. <laughs> uh, question number three: Which professional sport has been played every Thanksgiving since 1920? These only get tougher, my friend. All right, my bad. I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to we'll, we'll yeah. work it. Yeah, 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 me us too. too. Us too. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Which professional sport's been played every Thanksgiving since 1920? Yeah. Football. Football. There yes. you go, Birdo. Birdo. You're the man. Football is exactly right. Birdo, the birdster. Yeah, maybe. Uh, of course, even more popular is the lacrosse championships yes. that uh, that are played every Thanksgiving. But hey, the know, Bills we, playing this Thanksgiving. You happy about that, Birdo? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, are they going to win? They better yeah. play the Saints. Against the Colts. All right. No. Uh, okay. No, that's not... uh, question number four. Typically speaking, how many days are in the month of November? Mm. How many days are in the month of November? Yeah, asking yeah. Whoever helped now, Birdo. That sounds 28. Like 28. 28. 28. Damn close. Whoever helped you got you close. Damn close. But uh... It's only 27 this, this year. <gasps> Yeah, because it's, oh! it's not a leap year. It's only 27. Yeah. Shoot. But you were dang close, man. You're not going to give that to Birdo? No. Nah. Oh. oh. Can't. It's close. It's can't within 24 do hours. Can't oh. do her. Well, Birdo, thanks for playing. Uh, good luck to the Bills. Mm. Yes, yeah, sir. You guys have a great night. Thank you. Yeah, you, too. you too. Stay warm. Have a great <laughs> night. Can I enjoy my day? Is, is he saying, I don't care about your day? Hope you have a good night. Yeah, just skip <laughs> skip the day because uh, that's already yeah, shot. Yeah. That's already <laughs> shot. <laughs> wow! So the Colts have a uh, what seems to be a commanding lead at this point. I know. Right? Yeah, yeah. He only got two because they're up four to three, and they still get to play. Uh, Burrow got one. Well, yeah. when you don't know the charity, when you don't know that trick or treat for UNICEF <laughs> is out on the corners uh, or in front of the stores. Yeah. Uh, this time of year. Uh, you're stupid. Yeah. It's, you're stupid. Yeah, Come on, really. man. You're just dumb. Get back to work, Birdo. <laughs> you are not more on trivia material. By the way, who named you that? What's that all about? Oh, Birdo. No. Birdo. <laughs> <laughs> is that B-E-R-T-O or is it B-I-R-D-O? I wonder. I should have asked. Oh, Darn I it. know. Get Birdo back but on But you didn't. Let's ask it. I did. How do you feel about that? I feel bad. Yeah, I feel badly about it. I honestly I almost want to ask him. Let's call him back. <laughs> call him back. Birdo, we need to know something. Is it Robert? <laughs> 
Yeah, right. Because right. I feel like it wouldn't take much to push him over the really pissed off mo- ledge. He seemed like yeah. uh, he's right there. It was tenuous. He's right there. Because he's, he's busy. Right there. I know. Look, uh, <laughs> you guys go and I have a good night. I already said I'd answer your stupid questions. All right, let's mm-hmm. go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I sensed oh. a little bit of that uh, under the surface. Like, Berto is tension. Like one of those guys that, yeah. like, if one thing goes wrong, he dude, could snap. he's going to. Yeah, he could snap. It's almost like, like I was a twig. talking to myself there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, or something. Like no, that's good. Write this down. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> nah, that like never d- worked. That's not good. <laughs> that's no good at all. Uh, all right, so we're waiting for a contestant in um, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. As we do that, let me uh, clue you in mm. <laughs> on some new rules now. What okay? no? new rules? There's a new gender neutral term. For nieces and nephews. Oh, okay, good. Okay. It's nibblings. 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 <laughs> Let me eat! No, no, I no, don't think not that's... Nibblings. No. no, you're not I'm nibbling on something. Nibbling, like these, these are nibblings. I don't know. The first thing that came to mind was nephews. Joe Biden. So, don't him. thank you. Oh, did you see him with the kid yesterday? No. no. What? The signing of the bill? Mm-mm. No. Oh, I got I have to. We have to play this if we don't well, have the deal. How did you see something like that it and is, not send it in? Man, you. What the? How many times do you have oh to be told, God. Ben? <laughs> okay, it's I called, know you're old. Yeah, but it's called for the technology. Love of heaven. Uh, Write it down. Uh, you know how this works. Oh, you know, like I've always said. <laughs> oh, man. You've got to. This is so do you bad. Have an email All right, account? we got uh, Gina in oh Indianapolis. Gosh. Hey, Gina. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, we're going to ask you four quick questions, if if that's all right. Sure, yeah. Is that okay? All right. Uh, and if you uh, you can't ask anybody for help, and if you don't know the answer, just take a guess, okay? Okay. The Monday after Thanksgiving is important for online retailers. That Monday is typically referred to as what? Cyber Monday. Cyber. Yeah, baby. Mm. Yeah, good job. He's good. Uh, question number two. Which well-known charity stands in front of stores this time of year ringing a bell? Oh, oh my gosh. Salvation Army. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people think it's... Right. Like trick or treat for UNICEF, UNICEF but yeah. they're, they're not right. No, <laughs> they're not right. Uh, number three. Which professional sport has been played every Thanksgiving since 1920? Football. There Football. You go. Indeed. Oh. And question number four. Typically speaking, how many days are in the month of November? On a 30. typical 30. Wow. That was just too yeah, easy for was you, wasn't just it? Really? Uh, what place of business are you at right now? Village Pantry. Yeah, I love, okay, I love yeah. that place. It's right there off the on the left there. With the pancakes? No. No, 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 no I wish. Oh no. No pancakes? No, not the pantry. Okay. At the, okay. What do you have there? Uh, it's a convenience store, and we have deli items and donuts. Yeah. And yeah. But no, yeah. no pancakes? No pancakes. I really want pancakes. This uh, you it's like you've never been there. Off. You stop in Dang there it. like two or three times a week. I know I'm there all week. the time, but Gina, I thought they had pancakes. What's the best thing you guys have there, do you think? Mmm. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Almond yeah. Oh, oh okay. yeah. What are you trying to kill me? Do you know that uh, I, I have anaphylactic shock I go into if yeah. I eat a nut? Do you, you should, know that? You should have known that, yeah. Gina. should have known that. Oh, nut I'm aversion. So trying to kill I'll eat it for you, and that right. way we'll save your health. Oh, that's oh, a little that's... rude, but okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, are you a Colts fan? Um, yeah, I neither are we. Yeah. Indiana. Right. Peyton yeah. Manning's pretty good, though, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Maybe Still we'll... a Manning fan? Still a, a Peyton Manning fan? Um, yeah, I yeah. I don't know. Right, yeah, they're getting a little old now. So, yeah. All right, well, we uh, wish you the best. Happy the weekend a to you. Well, and thank uh, you. Same to you guys. Happy Thanksgiving next yeah. week. All right? Because we probably won't talk between now and then. Probably not, but no, feel free probably to stop not. in and say hey. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll, I'll stop in. Right. I'll stop in. Uh, okay, <laughs> Ben's going to stop in. Yeah, I'm going to stop in. he'll say hi. I'm going to catch you. But okay. the rest of I'll, us... get you, I'll get a French vanilla cappuccino when I get in and say hello, hey, okay? Okay. We got the best. All right. All right. I know.
Thanks, Gina. Bye-bye. Thank um, you. So, Commissioner, uh, permission to, to call the game because it's 8-3 to three Colts. I know. It's going to take two more quarters for the Bills to even mathematically it's over. call it a game. Mm-hmm. Final score, Colts 8, Bills 3. What do you think? I think so. I think I we're mean, done if here. We're gonna not try to get a full game in. Oh, you're gonna get four more calls? Or yeah. I don't know. They're your people call, making the calls. Oh you're gonna gosh. send them home early. Let's send them home. Yeah, it's a holiday yeah. spirit, you know. Yeah. All right, get yeah. out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Getting a thumbs you know up on that. They're get excited out. about yeah, that. Get out, Actually, get call, out of here. Yeah. call. We got time. Call Berto back. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's, let's see if we can. Let's even get him to snap. All right. Let me tell you about something serious. Abortion is the leading cause of death in the U.S. And around the world. You know, it's 60, almost 63 million babies in the United States alone. It is well over 1 billion babies worldwide. Nearly one in four pregnancies and an abortion. It's time to do something about it. And the Ministry of Preborn is partnering with the Blaze Media to help rescue 10,000 babies by the end of this year. And you can be a part of that. Please help us out. If you can, $28.00 can save the life of one baby through an ultrasound. Preborn is the direct competition to Planned Parenthood, and they provide free ultrasounds in the United States to women who are considering abortions. Now, 80% of the time, after the woman sees the ultrasound, it hits them, and they realize that that's life growing within them, and they choose life. Preborn partners with clinics in the highest abortion rate cities and regions, and they have a real passion to save these babies. They've counseled over 340,000 women considering abortion. More than 169,000 babies have been saved. 51,000 women have surrendered their lives to Christ. So it's also awesome. a really great ministry. Will you help us rescue 10,000 babies' lives? To donate, just dial pound 250, say the keyword baby. That's pound 250, keyword baby, or go to preborn.com slash pat. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, I cannot wait yeah. to get that video yeah, for yeah. you to see the video. Jeffy and I are chomping is, at the bit here. It is unbelievable. I read the caption, Pat, of the video of Biden with the kid at the White House yesterday, uh-huh. and Jeffy's not lying. Oh, my gosh. This could be the worst one. If, it's creepy. Is it? Is it? Do you think it's uh, just reading the caption? It could be a front runner for creepiest Joe Biden moment with a kid. And I've yeah, seen nothing about good. it. Nothing. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, we're, we're waiting. Nobody cares. It's pretty good, man. The, the system yeah. is digesting it right now, I mean, and then we'll play it. Holy cow. Rubbing of the arm. He, gives, he ends up giving the kid a a, a present, Did one he of the say, pens. Little boy. Yes, uh, maybe I'll, sh- get I'll, in show my you, car. I'll show you around later. Yeah, meet, meet, meet me, Jeez, and I'll show I you around mean, the White it's House. Yeah. Cor- no, he didn't. And he's yeah, that's the quote. He did not yes. say that. I can't uh, wait. Dear God, please, Nate. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's I I get... Looking at it from a non creepy point, right. it's just a it's yeah. just a grandpa looking at a seven year old kid. Yeah, except but he's got he a track a record. Exactly. I know. This is his mo. I know. Right? What's, what's the woman's name? That we, I, I need to emblazon this in my mind. What's the woman's <laughs> name? He jammed up against the wall. Tara Reed. Tara Reed. Uh, nothing from that. Uh, he squeezes the girl's nipple. Nothing from that. Mm-hmm. I've told you. He, he sniffs the hair. He oh, rubs yeah, he people. Rubs the shoulders he he and has the a hair. woman, a motorcycle chick, right. sit on his lap. Yep. I mean, the guy is a freak. And and you talk. And about, he always gets away with it. I'm sick of it. You talk I'm about it. how you've heard nothing about this. You recall the one time that I got in trouble with Twitter <sighs> was literally no editorializing, nothing. I literally just posted a link to about 12 minutes of raw C-SPAN footage of him with prepubescent teen girls and you didn't and say anything about it I didn't say no anything. comment nothing not oh, not wow. look at this creep. and they took not, that down right yeah oh yeah I, oh, until until i removed gosh. that my account was locked Jeez. and it was literally just raw footage of him fondling little girls at Crazy. the senate you did what right. you were told right i'm sorry what was that you did what you were told i did what i was you took told. them down you took I it down? Took them down? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He took the videos down. Is that good? That's what I'm saying. All right, then. Okay, so he's happy now. I, All don't, right. I don't know what that was. Here it is. Oh, what you are. What grade are you in? Nice. First grade. That's <laughs> great, man. Stop touching. Creepy. Thank you for being here. Stop. You okay? First grade. First grade, man. Yeah. I can show you. Yeah. 
I don't like that. I okay, like yep. That. It's Rub, creepy. Rubbing his arm. Yeah. Touching his yep. face. Oh, strokes his out. face. Okay, so in the, and then he realizes, wait, that's his mask. I can't. I shouldn't touch his mask. Right. So in the beginning, that makes he's, it germy. He has the pen. He has the bill, and then mm -hmm. he realizes, oh, there's a little boy there, and he turns, and that's where this video starts. And then after after he turns to sign, he signs, turns, and gives the kid the pen, and says, here, later. Ugh. I mean, it is a creepy. He's so. Mm. <laughs> and it's only going to get worse the 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 more distant he becomes mm -hmm. and slips into his real train of thought and like what he's really focusing on. Uh, right, mm -hmm. you're going to be somebody's got to be whispering at least uh you know pudding pudding pudding. Mm -hmm. pudding Remember something. we said get him you, on a train of thought If you somewhere don't else. touch a kid mm. today, we'll make sure you get double pudding. <laughs> if you don't <laughs> touch a kid <laughs> If you don't sniff anybody's hair yeah. and you don't touch a kid, we'll get you an extra portion of pudding. Okay? <laughs> no true. gifts either. Uh, eating. Yeah, no gifts for I kids, just, nothing with I gifts. I mean, some days to him it might be worth it to drop a might. serving of pudding. I don't know. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, it is creepy. It is. It's weird. And I know looking at it from, you know, he's just a grandpa. No. He's just no, no. Okay. I'm not cutting him in that slack. Track record. No. No. And I, He's just a grandpa. Do you think he uses the word nibblings to describe <laughs> oh, yeah. his nieces and nephews? <laughs> yes. I mean, granted, it's a little cumbersome to have to always say nieces and nephews, but you got to do better than nibbling. Nibbling yeah. is just a gender neutral term for niece or nephew. A person in a video posted uh, libs of TikTok. Yeah, yeah. that's a good. Account. Saying this. <laughs> so if your sibling's child is gender non conforming or non binary, nibbling is a great term for them. Mm mm. Yeah, and so many of my siblings' children are gender nonconforming. I think, <laughs> I think all of them are gender nonconforming. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like so common in my family that you're gender nonconforming. Well, I bet you you're the first one on their list to let know mm -hmm. if they are. I'll tell you that. Uh, yes, yes, I am. That's what I said. Because they know that I'm completely open to it. That's, mm -hmm. I know. I love That's it. my point. I love it when you're gender nonconforming. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> just my point. keep your nibblings away from <laughs> Joe Biden, and I think everybody wins. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, uh, Gross. Uh, uh, all my brother's kids, my oldest sister, they're all <laughs> they're all gender nonconforming. Oh, Every I want you to, one of them. I, I, when they, when they come to your house. I met them not long ago here. I could <laughs> see they, that. Are they coming to your house for Thanksgiving? Are you going somewhere? Or how's that going to shake out? Uh, no, I think it's just going to be me and the kids and okay. uh, my wife. and um, Any nibblings coming over? No. Aw. No nibblings. I was going to let you try out that word, but oh well. No. no. Mm -mm. Not this year. Not a single nibbling. Yeah, not this year. No. Okay. But if you're referring to multiple nieces and nephews, oh. nibbling is a way is an easier way to say that. So okay. you don't have to say nieces and nephews. You can say nib my nibblings, <laughs> and people go, "You're what? <laughs> you're what? Are you talking hey, about you your talking giblets? About? You mean you mean your giblets? I think that sounds like you have to pay extra for something, uh, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Your nibblings? That's not right. Is that dessert? Uh, uh, Twitter users, users responded to the explanation. I like how they talk about these things as if the definitions have been around for years and not just made up five minutes ago. <laughs> That's great. That's yes. a good line. It's good to see somebody on Twitter has some common sense. Yeah. Doesn't that also mean that taking a small bite of something, if you're nibbling, yeah, yeah, uh, it's yeah. no, that's two it, two bees. That's two bees, yeah. though. You got you got to be right. able to to dis distinguish when you're actually talking. How do you know. discern whether it's one or two bees when, when you speaking. say the word? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. How do we get around this? Yeah, I'm confused. nibbling. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. These nibbling. are the frustrations of life. A new thing. Is California even going to be celebrating Thanksgiving because Nostradamus? Uh, you know we. They, 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 they sent out this thing. Somebody, I don't know if somebody sent it to me or what, but but basically predictions. his predictions for 2021, and one of them apparently is that California on Thanksgiving is bye-bye. Yeah, it's yeah. made the rounds. And, and, you know, his quatrains have been, uh, you know, translated by, you know, numerous people and changes mm -hmm. from time to time, and we don't even know if the translation is correct, right, from oh, the, from the gotcha. quatrain. Uh, so, you know, is it possible? Sure, why not? Let's just say. Well, it. here's some of those quatrains that oh. portend problems. Okay, for in 20, the future. 2021. So yeah. these mm -hmm. have either happened or are about to happen in the next couple a of weeks. A global famine. Okay. After great trouble for humanity, a greater one is prepared. Oh. 
A great mover renews the ages. Rain, blood, milk, famine, steel, and plague is the heaven's fire seen. What? A long spark running. Is that... Is that See? the shelves being empty? <laughs> See? Huh? Okay, so I, check one off there for all of See? Nostra. No idea what that means. That's yeah, one. He's Solar one one. storms and asteroids. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. In the sky, one sees fire and a long trail of sparks. Okay. Okay. What? what? <laughs> Uh, uh, that means he predicted that uh, this year will bring fire in the form of solar storms and a great asteroid that mm. will either hit or come very close to the Earth's surface. Uh, we came close, right? Ish. Here's the earthquake that will destroy California on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> the Sloping Park. What? Great calamity. Through the lands of the West and Lombardy. Oh. The fire in the ship. Plague and captivity. <laughs> yeah. Mercury and Sagittarius, Saturn fading. Well, that's that, all that, that definitely I, says California. I, again, that I says repeat. California on Thanksgiving Day. That's what it says. Again, <laughs> see. Wait, where's the date? And I can see Lombardi, San Francisco, maybe, but where's the date in that? From Mercury and Sagittarius yeah. and uh, Saturn fading. Of course. What are you stupid? I, we <laughs> just we just had the definitely. eclipse. Yeah, right? we just had the eclipse. eclipse so that was nice. really cool too, by cool. the way. How? I wondered while I was looking at that eclipse, <laughs> how do the flat earthers rectify uh, that? How Jeffy? did that happen to the flat earthers? I don't know if you get, we'll have to talk to Flat Earth Dave about that. Yeah, we'll have to. I want to talk to Flat Earth that I would Jeff. like to know. Look mm-hmm. at that. Okay, yeah. there's a there's yeah, a picture. My wife took my wife took a bunch of pictures. Obviously, I, I sent in like when four I saw or five it, this this morning. When I saw it, it was much. Yeah, it was about that dark probably, yeah. and you could just see a sliver, and then, uh, it, and then it just. Then the Earth moved away, and uh, it was out of the way of the sun. Okay. And then, uh, so. so it was back. Yeah, it's back. And okay. this was the longest, back. right, in like four or 500 years, something like that? 538 the years. Yeah. They, said it was, so. they said it was three hours and 28 minutes long, perfect for the night that the Falcons and Patriots were playing, 328. <laughs> so the sloping ah. park, great calamity yeah, through California. the lands of the West and Lombardy, the fire and the ship plague and captivity, Mercury and Sagittarius, Saturn fading. Now what part of that says California, though? Yeah, the lands of the West and Lombardy? Lands of the what West, is yeah. Lombardy? Totally specific. Is that... Guy Lombardi? <laughs> yes. The yes. Guy Nostradamus foresaw the... Guy Lombardi. Yes. <laughs> Except it was Guy Lombardo. Lombardo but he got yeah. one Same letter thing. wrong. <laughs> right, he's, Just like I mean, he did with Hitler. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. He got one letter. I he mean, had Guy Lombardi. <laughs> and he foresaw <laughs> the fact I that mean, he was going to do the New Year's Eve celebration. Yes, when did people year. start... <laughs> looking up these quatrains and, and following them along. Was it the Hitler thing? Like when? How long have they been? They've following? been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Because his, I mean, they. I forget how many he wrote. He wrote lots. Yeah, yeah I mean lots. a whole bunch. Right. And they're in uh, different languages. And they're and they're all like this. Yes, I mean this could be even anything. worse. And this and this is the trans. Us. This is the translation out of that. This is the Shut translation. Up. This isn't actually you know uh-huh. when you read the actual text, mm-hmm. then you know that we're going by who translates it and what they believe the translation right. is because he was apparently writing in secret because mm-hmm. he, he didn't want to be you know called a heretic, which everybody thought he was anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's mm-hmm. living alone, writing you, under yeah. candlelight forever. Were you guys mm-hmm. talking about these back in the 1700s when you were forming the nation? Is that something you guys leaned on? Anna and I used to hang out, you yeah. know, just uh, share mm-hmm. the pipe a little bit, have a little chat. <laughs> right. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is just part of the fun. Yeah. Death, right. taxes, and Nostradamus yeah. talk. Yeah. Am I right, Jeffy? Yeah. I bet Ben. Nothing like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Have a great weekend. Going to be back on Monday. It's a busy week next week. Yeah, but uh, shave my head today, live, and, Instagram and Facebook, yeah, and 1 o'clock. Jeff's going to shave, shave his head. So, oh, you fun. are? Our rescue. Thanks for donating. Appreciate okay. it. Shave head, save a hammer. See you Monday. <laughs> back right on leash. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.